Hi everyone. Yes, we've got our new motorhome and um, the alloys on it are about £700 plus VAT each. So I'm a little perturbed that you pay lots of money for your motorhome and They haven't even got locking wheel nuts on or bolts. So I've done some research um, and Fiat come with either an M14 um, bolt size or an M16. So until I find out what it is I don't want to go purchasing because I'm bound to pick the wrong one. So um, yeah. So I'll show you a bit further down the line on what um, I find, how I measure them and basically the fitting of them um, and any other information and I'll pass on in the description below for um, yourselves in case you want to purchase them. now. The Hainer, they're a good German make, um, so yeah, see what you think, see you then. So as you can see there, uh, you've got the five uh, wheel bolts, um, so what I've got to do is identify what uh, thread is in the wheel, um, now normally they would come with a M14 uh, 1.5 30 millimeters long but best to identify them because some come with M16 so I don't want to go ordering it and finding out that uh, I've got to send them back because they come from Germany so let's find out uh, what socket we need. So we've got a 19mm socket. Oh no, definitely not. That's a 21mm socket. So we shall put that in and see what we can come up with. So I've got a um, extension bar there and a torque wrench but it's a one-way torque wrench that I've got so it doesn't actually um, register any torque when you undo it so undo Done. We'll take take one out. Yes, so there is the wheel bolt and I would say that that is an M14 but we will go with a set of vernier calipers and check it so 
there you go, that's our first one. And then I can go and order the um, locking wheel nut bolts. Okay. So I found the uh, vernier calipers, they were hiding away in a box. So what we'll, she'll do now is measure the wheel bolt to find out what size we've got. So place it on there straight where possible. Highest point and what you have then is your measurement on that line there where it says zero. There you see the zero. And you've got 10 and then a, f a highlighted 5 and it's just on the 14 so that is an M14 and then measure the length of the bolt Which is sorry to the to the shank. And you've got twenty eight twenty eight point eight. So the overall length would be Sixty one point two. So that's what I'll do. I'll order some M fourteens and go from there. Okay. So they've arrived. There you go. Heine, Germany. Still block pros. Now when you um, get your kit from Heiner, uh, comes with all of your instructions and on the back uh, each um, wheel bolt remover key comes with a unique code so if you do lose these you can contact Hainer and give them the code which is on the back Yeah, I'm just covering up mine now, but it does say the key number uh, and various, and it's got key code there, um, and that'll be the date of manufacture, and then there's a four, three-digit code under there, but uh, obviously I uh, don't want people knowing what mine is, so there is your... Uh, Peace. 
yes, uh, three days later, um, I've ordered the M14 locking wheel bolts and <coughs> you can see there M14 same length as the original which is this is the original that is the new locking wheel nut or bolt should I say so we shall screw that in that's in hand tight we shall now go release the locking screw and wind in 180 which I don't think you'll see but So that's actually one hundred and eighty two Newton meters. So wind it back two, and there we got one hundred and eighty. Put the locking screw. There, 180 Newton meters, and our first locking wheel nut is on. Uh, there's uh, one wheel nut, uh, sorry, one uh, locking wheel nut, or bolt, as they call them. All four have now been done. Uh, there's one more thing that uh, will be coming out, and that is we purchased a Nemesis. plus wheel lock much like the caravan ones but uh, slightly bigger uh, and it has two receivers that one there and the one that it's in and these are uh, M14s if you do have M16s or a longer uh, bolt you have to go to uh, full stop Nemesis people and get new receivers um, if they're M16s and they actually cost you so 
you can't swap them which to me seems a bit silly but that's how they've decided it so that's a nice long bar goes under the chassis there good security yes yeah, so that's it all four locking wheel bolts are in place the key is nicely hidden where only three people know where it is and one is the wolf so yeah good security uh, for your motorhome or camper van or whatever okay so hope you enjoyed look after yourselves <laughs>